Yeah, what's good? What's good, everybody? Double Butter Entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We really would appreciate it. Yeah, it was a good fight last night. Why it lasted, you know what I mean? The headbutt caused the fight. Um, a lot of bloody mess up in there. But um, Malcolm Brown, he tried. He tried. He should have stayed off the ropes, you know what I mean? And Butter B was just coming forward, straight forward. Looked like he ain't had hardly no defense. And, um... Did what he had to do. He had a sense of urgency when he got caught, you know, with the head buttons. And um, he thought the ref and them might be going to stop the fight and stuff like that. So he said, why leave it in the judge's hand and the ref's hands when I can just take care of business myself? So that's what most of all the boxers need to start doing. Hey, take care of it. Leave it out the judge's hand, the ref's hand to stop the fight. And that's what he, that's what he did. So in terms of... um. Butterbeeve and Canelo, everybody calling for that fight now. I think it'll be a good fight. And if you really think about it, it'd be like Canelo uh, fighting Triple G. Coming forward, you know what I mean? But Triple G got a little bit more skill. Butterbee wasn't really jabbing until he got cut. He got some jabs and stuff like that. But to me, that fight would be like uh, Canelo versus Triple G. Coming forward with each other, you know, banging and banging. And, um... Uh, Canelo moving around, he got better footwork, more head, moving better defense than Butterbeef do, and stuff like that. But, hmm, I think it would be a dinger, you know what I mean? But, you know, people going to still call Canelo and say Canelo ain't doing what he's supposed to do. He ain't fighting these guys. Hey, Butterbeef would be a good fight for him because he'll be somebody right there in front of him, somebody who can throw just as well as take it. What I see, and um, it would be a good fight for Canelo, man. The other guy he was going to fight at light heavyweight, man, or cruiserweight, whatever it was. Um, Babaka, whatever his name is, he, he he don't look like he could take no punches or nothing like that. I mean, he just can punch and stuff like that. He he telefit just like Butterbeef is telefit, but I think Butterbeef just got a little bit more to offer Canelo and shit like that, man. I don't know. I think it will be a good fight, but I think um, Canelo's defense and uh, movement, and make Butterbeef move, but Butterbeef there to get hit, and we don't know if um Canelo can take, you know, Butterbeef power, but Butterbeef got some thunder, but Canelo got that granite chin, man, so we never know what can happen in boxing, man, that's why I always tell you, I don't get none of these guys credit until they get in there and fight the best, and he's the best, so if Canelo want to do something, Canelo need to move up there and fight him, you know what I mean, if he want to fight these other guys, hey, he got two belts, Come on, dare to be great again. I mean, you called another body bum. You just called Shalo a bum. You told Andre to stop calling them out and shit like that, man. So, I just tell you right there. He's not going to fight these guys, the um, Shalos and Andre and stuff like that. He's going to go up there keep fighting these Eastern European fighters, these white fighters and stuff like that. They're giving them the opportunity to be great and get a good payday and stuff like that. So what um, Benavidez, Shalo, and Andre have to do, they're going to have to move up. Move up, dare to be great, follow him, stalk him, fight each other. You know what I mean? Th that's what you're going to have to do if you want to get that big payday from Canelo Alvarez. Because you see what he's doing. He's picking and choosing the guys he want to fight. And these guys have belts. And I'm a Canelo fan. He, But, you know, I don't like the way... He's, Mm, he do things sometimes, but hey, he doing it. He winning. He damn to be great. He picking on all the um, champions that these weight divisions. So, Charlo, y'all got y'all gonna have to move up, man. Stop calling his name out, Benavidez. I don't understand why the hell you fighting David Lemieux. You should have told WBC, man, y'all can get out of here with that. I, I ain't even know David Lemieux was still fighting. You know what I mean? So how he get this? Anybody in this supposed to be eliminated? Man, the WBC is on the wackest stuff that you will ever, in all sanctioning bodies. The WBC is on some wack stuff. I think Mauricio needs to be investigated for some of this bull crap he's pulling with these fighters and killing their, li killing their livelihoods for not um, giving them the opportunity to be the best they can be for making these other little... Uh, Lemieux should have been retired. I'm not even going to give a fuck. He should have been gone. Why is he even in the picture? What's going on? Why why we can't get a nice up and coming young fighter to fight um, David Benavidez? You know what I mean? Because David Benavidez, Canelo is not going to give you an opportunity while you're fighting guys like Lemieux. You know what I mean? And keep calling him out. Y'all want to dare to be great? Move up and wait. 
whatever weight class um Canelo in, y'all that's cause that's all y'all want because y'all not fighting each other. Move up in his weight class and fight him. Or move up the next weight and fight the best guy at next weight. Jamal Charlotte, go fight Keller Plant. If you're not gonna fight Andre, then we know Triple G you're not gonna fight you. Move up and fight Keller Plant. And if you're gonna move up and fight Keller Plant, go fight Benavidez. It's time for you guys to fight these guys that's good, that's in your weight class. If you're gonna move up, fight the best. You know what I mean? Benavidez, you know what I mean? Be a professional. Make the weight. Stop calling people out and you can't even make them wait, man. I mean, what's going on with some of you fighters? Man, I know I'm getting off track, but I'm just trying to break things down to you. Canelo is giving these fighters a chance to get paydays. They have belts. They move up. Eastern Europe and white fighters. Ain't no black fighters up there, champ. Marcus Brown, he did a good job. He should have stayed his ass off the ropes. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i quite sure um, his training... Uh, it, it, Earl Spence track, and it, it ain't coming to me right now. But um, I'm quite sure he told him to stay off the road. He should have stayed in the middle of the ring, jab him, move, pivot, jab, move, pivot. And when he come in, he came in, he banged a little bit, got off of him and moved around again. But, man, he moved back to the rope so much. I mean, I'm like, why is he still on the ropes? And you know this guy can bang. We all know Butter Beef can bang. Even though he don't, even though he fight like Gary Russell once every two years or whenever he fight, he can bang, and I'm quite and I'm quite sure um, your trainer told you that he can bang, and you know he can bang by watching tape. But what I want to know from y'all, this is a second major fight um, Marcus Brown been in, and he head but the guy right there in the middle of the head. When he, I mean, and a nasty head but Badu Jack, the same thing, a nasty head but man. So what's going on with Marcus Brown using his head and, and keep headbutting these guys? People say it's an accident, but this is the second fighter, the same place. You know, I mean? even though both of them got cut, but this is the second fighter in the same place. A bad, gushy cut, man. You know what I mean? So Marcus Brown, you need to keep your head up, man. You know what I mean? You need to get to keep your head up and um, box on the outside, man. You can't take them body shots. What you think going on them roads? That going to help you? Come on, bro. I mean, you know, and the thing is, you guys killed me. Some of you guys, man, y'all pick these fights with your um, heart but not your brain. I hear see a lot of people talking about, um, yeah, they got Marcus Brown. Marcus, what, what you got him because he's black? <laughs> I mean, I understand that, but I don't do shit that way. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm roof, I, wouldn't, I hope he win, but if you're going to bet, I'm talking about in terms of betting. If you're going to bet, bet on the, you know, the guy that possibly that's going to win the fight. That ninety percent uh, chance Butter Beef is going to win that fight, and then you can um, put a parlay on um, Michael Brown if you want to, man. But what's next for Butter Beef? Either Bivol, then calling each other out. Both they got the belts. It's time to make it happen. The best need to fight the best. If you're going to fight somebody. It need to be Butter Beef and Bivol next. And if Canelo wants to step in and get one of them a payday. That's what it should be. So until these other little fighters like Charlo, Benavidez, and um, Andre and them, they want to keep calling these guys out. You got to start fighting each other, champ. You got to start fighting each other. And they need to try somehow and some way to make these fight. There's no reason Charlo can't move up and fight ben ben uh, David Benavidez if he's not going to fight Andre or Triple G. Now, I mean, enough is enough bull crap, man. Get in there, fight the best fight, and then you might get that big payday y'all want. Because like Canelo said, you want payday. It's time to show people that you really want it and get in there and fight the best fighter. So, you know, that's my thoughts on it. Leave a comment in the um, comment section. Rebuttal Entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We only getting better. We only been at this for six, seven months now. You know what I mean? We don't do boxing all the time, but when we do it, we make it great. Talk to you guys later. Peace.